We're making and embellishing items for our journal for the January challenge using packaging. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with the next installment, packaging. And this is using packaging that you probably would throw away or most people would to, um, <laughs> to decorate and make things for your journal. Hi everybody, I'm Julie. If you're new to my channel, I put up a crafty video, usually paper crafting or journaling, sometimes home decor or another craft or a shopping haul every day. So if you like that kind of thing, I hope you'll stick around. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and that will let you know when I post a video or I am live. So here we are with a pile of junk that I'm gonna show you. This is all packaging, and these are all items that you can use in your Just Junk Journal for the Just Junk Journal Challenge 2 that is happening now through January 31st. If you're interested, the details video is in the description box down below. So here we go. Um, so to start off, I have packaging from Martha Stewart from the Mermaid Stencil. Yes, you can cut these pieces off and use it. You can use this thick cardboard to be um, for tags and things, and you can use the images. So that's one way, is using your packaging in that way. There's several ways to use your cellophane packaging. One is to cut it off here and use it as a pocket, clear see-through. And we did do that in the napkin video. I'll put that down below. And another way to use it is if you have a wider one like this, you can actually make it into a page. Okay, so where you fold them, and I would cut this piece off. You can put items in it. If it's totally closed, you could put uh, sequins and beads and things and make it into a shaker pocket. Okay, so then you might have one that has a tag that maybe it held, it was the backing for, this one was for some plastic buttons and um, it goes like that. So there's a couple of things that you could do with this one and we'll be working with this one in a minute, but it could be a tag. You can cut the top off top off and it could be a tag that fits into this clear pocket that would you give you the decoration and the place to put the tag um, another thing that you can do is you can decorate this and attach it in so that it's a decoration um, you could make it put your tag inside of it have these be up here and it could be a bookmark because it would be mostly protected so we'll be doing something with that one. Then we have this, it has a print on it. This side is basically clear. So um, you could have it be a page. It could be a cover for a mini journal. It could be tags, um, all kinds of things. We're gonna probably work with this one. We did work with this one in the napkin. So we made this out of this. Okay, so that was using that. You can just use papers. This was uh, the paper that tells you what's in the white cardstock from Michaels. So now I have a book page. I can cover these um, if I want to or not. Okay, it is a junk journal. So, but now I have a page out of junk. Here we have, um, this was pillow protectors. It is thick and hard. So this one would make great tags, okay? So you could just put something here, maybe the magazine page or part of the calendar, and then cut it and you would have nice weighted tags. This one is, um, this was for the stencils. It has a page on the inside, so you could take that out and use that in your journal as a page. Or you could take that out, decorate it, and make it a covered page. You could, um, again, put this in, uh, you know, cut it across, fold it, put it in your journal. Like, I'm going to use the photo album pages, but this would give you two pocket, clear pockets. Um, here's another sticker. 
one, but it also has these cute images on the other side. So you could go ahead, if your punch will work to punch these out, then there you go. Otherwise, you can just um, rip them or cut them out. Um, if you have a CD and it came with packaging, okay, so a CD pocket with packaging. This is the cover from Ledger Paper, and it counts the back also counts where the cardboard is. So you could use the back cardboard from your ledger paper to make your cover for your journal. And then you also have this. And we have, we use the top piece of this in the napkin video, because I like the way napkins look when they're on top of ledger paper. So that just gives you an idea there. Here we have another um, pretty one. And then I have this game. And I have the box, and I have the cards also. Um, but I thought, well, there's some cute little things. I'm on the word harvest and favorite. Um, so lots of cool things there. So maybe I might make something using that. So the last but definitely not least is my Tim Holtz paper pad. I use the front cover for my cover and then I have all these little ones on the in, the back that I can use. Got, got my little pile over here. This was packaging, okay? So it's pretty. I'm not gonna use it this time, but it was packaging. Um, you can take a cardboard box, peel off one of the edges, and then use the cardboard lines to make lines in your journal. And you can also use bubble wrap to um, get a look with your stamp pad. So you just take your stamp pad and let's see, we've got some book paper up here. Take your stamp pad. <laughs> it looks like honeycombs, but you can stencil with your, um, with your bubble wrap. So there you go. Didn't want to forget about that. And here was another cardboard piece of, of um, packaging. Okay, so back to Tim Holtz page. And let's see, we'll start with this one. So I'm just going to cut out the square of this one. Okay, and then I'm going to cut off the bottom down here. And right there, I have a tag. Okay, so I can just go ahead and, oh, it has the, the clear tape circle thing on it. But I know on this particular one, whenever I took that off, it, it took up the paper. So I'm going to leave that one on there. And then I can decorate this with... You know, I can put a little tab on the top, like we've been doing. The back is white, which is really cool, and so it's something that you can use. But how cool is this that you can make nice things using things that you would probably throw away? Okay, we probably wouldn't, but other people would probably throw that away. Okay? So there is just a tag, and you could cut it out and have it be more even. I'm going to leave it because I want more writing space, okay? And this is actually for my journal, so. Okay, so we started by cutting out this square. So we're going to go ahead and finish cutting out this square. Now, this is pretty thick. If you remember, this, this was really actually very thick. So I am going to try and make it thinner. Carefully separate my picture from the cardboard. Okay, so now I have this beautiful piece that, that I can then go and I can use and collage onto other things. And um, I think that, and it's a lot I mean, we've got this and it's, that's, that's huge. 
I mean, that's really not huge. It's um, thick. It's really thick. So there you go. Taking that and that I just think that that makes that more more usable and something that I can I can go ahead and use. Um, so we could really quickly go ahead and take our CD case and this um, this was a CD that I got from from my Mary Kay director actually and um, it's in a it's in a case case so I have a few of these. And this was the only one that she didn't write on, so <laughs> she usually always writes on them. Okay. Oop, I got a little, I'm like doubled up there, so let's go double up over here just so that it's kind of even. Okay. So there's that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and find my top. And I'm going to decorate just down in this corner. So there we go. Put this put this down on the CD. And then this can just go over it. I'm going to put my glue all the way around the square. And put it on there. And then the rest of the decoration is going to come from whatever I'm able to put inside. So um, I have this. I don't know if it'll fit in there. But something like that. Okay. So if I was going to turn this, if this was going to be a pocket, then I'm going to want to go ahead and, and I'm going to tear it because I've already distressed it. And then I've got this piece I can use for something else. But that gives me this. I think I still have one more goldfinch that I can actually make something because this, this was made to go on... Um, on the side of the journal but it does fit there and it does look beautiful so there we go Keep that like that okay so next I have this one I am I'm really liking using these clear pockets in my journals so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut the top off first of all so this will be this will be my pocket and then I attach these using my ATG gun because the double-sided sticky um, works really well to attach those in. The other thing that I do know is that I'm going to want, because I'm adding some things to this, I'm adding some bulk, I'm going to need this to be smaller and I'm going to cut it now instead of after. Okay, there's that and that. And then I'm going to cut the bottom off. Okay. So I'll save these because I might be able to use those for something else. Now I'm going to look at my, um, at this and I'm going to go to my book. Let's see if we have any more blank book pages. We do. Okay, so I can actually take, I'll keep this one. I've got this one that says the work on it. That's the title of the book that I've been using. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and you see how it fits perfectly just like that. But I want to be able to see the cute little ladybug. Okay. First of all, see the ladybug. I want to see the coffee cup and the flower that's on top of it. So, I might have gone in too far on that one. But there we go. 
There we go, there we go. And then there's a kitty down here. Oh no, yeah, it's a bird sitting on top of kitty. That probably would not happen at my house, but <laughs> I don't know. I haven't, I haven't experienced bird on top of kitty. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So I've got my spots that I know I want to see. And I could just go ahead and put it down like this. But, okay, how much room do we have? Okay, our sides were good. We'll go ahead and trim off a little bit off each side. Because remember, I like the look of the ripped pages. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and rip these and I'll be right back. And then we'll glue it down. Okay, so we're all glued and we're going to want to just add a little attention um, down here and then probably right here. Well, you know, what we can put down here is one of our our stickers. Maybe this one because the bird is looking that way. All the other ones, the bird's looking. Yeah, so. Well, we've got that, that cute one. We'll glue this down. And then we'll add the sticker down there. Okay. So let's go ahead and should we put a large one? So we have these large stickers. Yeah, we'll use a large sticker. We'll just line it up, put it down there. Then we can use one of the small stickers up at the top to cover the Sue in Sue Dreamer. I'm fine to keep the dreamer. There we go. So that gives me a, I like this very much. Okay. And now on the other side, we have a postage stamp. So that's totally different. So yes, you can use canceled post postage stamps as many as you want to. They are always great I think to add in to journals okay, I need to bring it down because I want to add some of the the garment up here I like that okay well, I'm using this skirt as my my garment and I want, I'm going to cut myself a, a strip of the skirt, seam to seam. It's actually not quite seam to seam, but. And then we can just attach this through. Gives me a tag. look with that on top go ahead and staple it and I'm going to staple my stamp too I like to use two staples because to me that makes it look like it was on purpose it also reminds me of when um, they put a patch on something. Okay, so there we have made, I think, a great tag. Okay, and it will go into that pocket. Maybe I'll put a picture, like the before picture of the garden, or a great saying or something on it. 
but I really, really like that. So that is another way to use packaging. And then let's go ahead and, so we kind of would do the same thing with this one, only it's smaller. And see the eight, that's my favorite number. So I would be fine leaving the eight on there. I'm gonna go ahead and just take Mr. Blue Jay here. We've got a heart, so that's okay. I can use that. And there we go. Just put that on just like that. Okay. Then we can do something with the back. And um, so there we there we have that. Give you an idea. Now these you can go ahead and cut them you can just fussy cut these. I would Okay. Can you go ahead and use it just like this? Actually, that might be kind of cool to just put it on even on the bottom of one of these. And that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this is from book page. And there's a whole playlist of book page ideas. And this is one of my favorites, these pockets. And you can either staple it or sew it. I am gonna go ahead and glue this one. I'll just have to watch and make sure that it, it glues. I think I'll probably staple it also. So there, this cute, oh my gosh, isn't that cute? And since it is a garden journal, I think it's gonna be adorable. Isn't that so isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. So um, I'm thinking one of the bunnies would be really cute as like a tab up at the top of a pay of a tag. So just cutting it out. And yes, and remember there's words on here that I could be using. That's from the Tim Holtz. Check it out. And since this is glossy paper, I am going to staple this on. Could make it look like his whiskers. Wish I'd have done that on that. Better on the other one, but you see, could be his whiskers. Okay, and then that's tab. So that's totally using packaging. Um, and I like the thick packaging um, tags for um, writing things that I want to be able to find quickly. That is what I'm going to show you today for packaging. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you're new, welcome. If you are been here for a while, thank you so much for sticking around and coming back and watching. I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope you enjoy the challenge. If you're interested in the challenge, the details video is in the description box down below, along with the um, paper uh, book pages playlist. And um, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, put them down below. If you love this video, go watch another one because YouTube really likes that. And let's see what we made. We made the tab using the packaging from the game, using the little bunny. We also used the packaging from the bunny game down here, and that is gonna make a great little place to tuck some little things in. Um, we made a tag. Actually, both of these tags were made using the back cover of the Tim Holtz paper that we used the packaging of the cover to make my cover. So the front cover of that was used 
of that paper pad was used to make the cover for my journal for this challenge. We used this sticker packaging. I made this awesome uh, card here that I'll be able to use and it's inside this clear pocket and I'll be able to put this pocket in and also be able to to um, to have so this one will also similar to that will go into here we used part of the um, the actual tag we're gonna keep the number eight we're gonna keep the the heart I'm gonna probably put something else over that but then we've used one of the stickers from the address labels sheet um, we also used the packaging for a CD and then this was from the napkin using a napkin for the mini challenge in the challenge. I'll put that in the description box below that video. So um, we did make one of the squares from the Tim Holtz paper pad back thinner so that it wouldn't be as bulky, added it on top of my punched thing there. So I think these turned out really fun. Um, which one was your favorite? I'm leaning towards that. Of course, I love the way this works. And I, I like I said, I believe I have another um, American Goldfinch in my, my stuff. So um, I will be probably adding that. And there we go. So items made out of packaging. Don't forget that you can use your cardboard and make lines. So if you have, this was, um, it but had buttons and the, the front part has the holes, but this was the back. So. So one of my favorite ways to, another one of my favorite ways to use packaging is cardboard to make lines. And you can get a variety of sizes of cardboard so that if you like this is perfect lines for me if you like bigger lines then you can find cardboard that has the lines further apart so um, there you go we have that then remember we also did this using the ledger paper um, cover and that gave us that so lots of ideas using packaging I can't wait to see what you do with your packaging and so don't forget to, to join us in the the Facebook group where we're show everybody's showing their things and people already have their journals finished. I'm I'm amazed. So there you go. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day and thanks for being here. Bye. Bye-bye.